bit of a weird tear down this one. Uh, managed to pick up a light bar from an ambulance for 50, well, two of them for 50 quid. Uh, this one's a Woodway Edge 4500 series. Um, when I turn it around, you'll, you'll probably see why it, that I bought it. And you see, we've got uh, blue lights there, we've got indicators, brake lights, I think they're scene lights the same again. But these two here are roughly 40 quid each on on eBay. So I've got two, two of them to put on my light bar, you just see there. Uh, obviously, the blue lights I'm not going to be able to use, so I'll be uh, disposing of them. <clears throat> same again with that one. Uh, this one doesn't have. Red lights because this one was from the front, so we've got indicator lights, scene lights at the front, blue lights again. So uh, it's going to be slightly different to my teardowns because I don't have the proper camera set up here, so it'll be uh, jumping it in and out. As you can see, the uh, lenses themselves are in too bad a condition. Sure, they're a little bit scratched and whatnot, but at least they're not smashed. Uh, it's just a pity that I can't use these because my light bars are federal signal. These ones are woodway, so it looks like. I'm hoping they're LED. They do look like LED ones, so that's not too bad. Uh, that one's halogen, so might not use that unless I can LED convert it. And obviously, they're LEDs as well. So yeah, on to the next level of t taking it apart. blue lights just come off these clips here and there but uh, interestingly it looks like it's got its own light bar controller in uh, there's a there's a specific brand of these but they I do see it it looks like it can actually run up to eight lights I think is that for yeah it's no plug there so yeah eight eight lights but this is going to be used for two so that's quite a good find um, so that's what that is, a uh, Whelan ULF28. Uh, they don't use all of the all the pins, so I, I'm sure I can reuse that at, at, at some point. I'm hoping there'll be one in in that one as well. Already mounted. Um, it does kind of look like that light bar is a similar sort of width to my man, so I'm hoping I can use those original holes there to mount this in the light bar, in my light bar anyway. So yeah, that's the centre scene light and it is unfortunately a halogen. Um, I suppose, I don't know, might might be useful for something maybe. Uh, slightly conscious I'm losing light here, but there's the centre out. It's all fairly modular. Big ass ground there. Uh, ground connection for all the wiring just had to figure out how to get these black dividers out of the way well predictably it started pissing it down uh, smidged up but uh, for God's sake I don't know if you can hear it that's the uh, God that's the end of this tear down Jesus well, I managed to uh, cobble together some light. Yeah, it's not brilliant, but it'll do. Uh, so these uh, plastic dividers, they just slide along here, come straight out. Yeah, so these are definitely uh, LED. You can see the individual LEDs in them, plus a humongous circuit board at the back. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm hoping that those screws there match mine. So I'll literally just be able to screw those straight in, connect them up because it's all modular again, all the wiring's in there. So yeah, there's, there's one end off, uh, obviously I spun it round, brake lights, indicator and blue lights. So that's it pretty much stripped out now. Um, probably going to keep this loom here that was in that light bar. It's a, pre-built loom so I should be able to do something with it same with that end uh, to be fair the real one's probably not that important but but the front one I'm sure I can 
reuse it. It's fairly long. Oh, there it is. At the very least, I'll keep it for the uh, connectors and whatnot. So yeah, that's that one stripped down, just down to its aluminium, aluminium, um, extrusion. So I only really wanted it f for the lights, and that's what I've got. Like I said earlier, these are about 40 quid for one on, on eBay. And I've got, well, I've got four, just like this one, that, that were taken apart. Obviously, two more in here. Um, I think, luckily, on the other one, they they look like LED ones. I don't know if you can see there. I'm hoping they're white, not not blue. Uh, yeah, you can, you can also see me big pile of stuff that I pulled out the ambulance at, uh, earlier on. Uh, well, I say earlier on, back when I first got it. Uh, the rain stopped ish so it's, yeah I suppose it's a good test of the uh, ceiling um, I don't know yeah there, there's the bolt um, don't look too bad my sicaflex is a bit dodgy but it's not leaking through uh, I can always go go back and do them again if if uh, if needs be same with that one that's here somewhere I think yeah, I don't even see it. Just yep. I'm actually finding that uh, in in that far corner it's leaking, but not where the bolt is. So I don't understand that one. Yeah, that, that's part of the reason why the roof is is down again. Because uh, in my early videos I, I had this all all the way down, but there's a leak and it's just in that corner, just down there. So I have to investigate that before I go and seal the ceiling back up and put wood over the top of it <sighs> I seem to say this every video but uh, slow slow progress I guess well anyway see you uh, see you in part two of the uh, light bar tear down when I tear down that one I don't know if I'll include it with this video or if I'll do a part like a part two and separate video and, and like whatnot uh, so yeah, um, depending on what happens, see you in a couple of seconds or see you in a couple of months. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye.